Hello there everyone, I'm Miss Ligaya and I'm very happy to be able to have another opportunity of sharing with you God's Word for the week. I have a short talk uh, for this time, but I'm bringing a very important message. It's called God being Alpha and Omega. Now, those two words, I'm not sure if you've heard them before, but they have a very special meaning. Alpha and Omega, they happen to be the first and the last letter in the Greek alphabet. Okay, and I have uh, decided to, um, to make a little drawing. This is A, like Alpha, and this is the sign for Omega. Okay, of course, I think you know the English alphabet, right? A to Z. This is uh, Greek alphabet. A, Alpha is from the start that's the, the start of the alphabet and omega is the last one okay our topic for today is god being the alpha and omega the beginning and the end okay let me just start with um uh, something that would relate to the word beginning what are the things that have a beginning as a teacher i'm very strict with uh, making sure that the beginning letter of each sentence, the uh, first word in the sentence is capitalized. So uh, we, what are the things that have a start, a beginning? Almost everything, actually, a sentence. Of course, we celebrate our birthday because that's the day that we were born, the beginning of our life. Also, we have the beginning of prayer, like when you talk to Jesus, when you say Jesus, um, I would like to praise you, right? That's like the beginning of your prayer. Also, animals, they have, um, when they're born, that's the beginning of their life. And then, beginning of the school year. Although our school year is a little bit different for this time because of the pandemic, uh, there's a beginning of school year. In our part, it's going to be early September uh, in the school where I work. So, in almost everything, there's a beginning. And of course, the same things that begin, they have an ending, the ending of a sentence, usually, of, not usually, uh, with a punctuation mark, usually it's a period, punctu uh, question mark or exclamation mark, those are punctuation marks that signify the end of a sentence. Of course, when somebody is born, okay, there's also the end of life, that's death, right? And of course, when we pray, at the end, we say, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen means so be it. So the examples that I've given, they talk uh, about beginning and end. Okay, this morning, my main message for you kids is the fact, the wondrous fact that God, our Lord and Savior, is the beginning and the end. That means he started everything. And of course, since he started everything, he's also the end. So he's in total control of everything. And you know what's even greater? Not, not only is he the beginning and not the end, he's also everything in between. So what does that mean, kids and adults alike? God is in total control. He is the beginning. He is the end, Alpha and Omega. And you know what encourages me even more? That everything in between the start and the end is also in total control. So I just want to encourage you with these following things. First, God is the beginning and the end and everything in between, as, as I kept saying, because for me, it's the highlight of um, I'm what I'm talking about right now, God being the beginning, the end, and everything in between. Okay, we are secured in Him. We are safe, especially during these uncertain times. I'm sure, you know, sometimes you feel scared. Sometimes you feel worried, especially when you see your family. Sometimes mom and dad or your siblings are a little sad. And sometimes, a lot of times these days, the things that we'd like to happen, they don't happen. So we feel sad. But I just want to encourage you that God keeps us safe keeps us secure, he is in control. He knows and he takes care of us and our loved ones. So I just want to share with you this verse, Revelations 21, 6, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning 
and the end. So this message is for all of us. God is in control. He is the beginning, the end, and everything in between. He keeps us secure. He keeps us safe because of his great love for all of us. Blessings to everyone. Till next video, take care.